Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head down to Bigger in the Scottish Borders region which some of you might happen to know is home to Broughton Ales, home of Scotland's oldest craft beer actually. So for this one we are going to have a look at their Christmas seasonal beer and this one has been on the go for a few years but I've never actually seen it before. So this one is the Santa Stout, it comes in at 4.4% and it's described as an oatmeal and chocolate stout so it should be really quite nice this one. Um, as I I said I've tried quite a few of the Broughton beers they were actually very kind and sent me a box of beer about a year or two ago and this is why I have the Broughton Ales glass actually for the review so a big thank you to them once again for that and it's been a while since I've reviewed a Broughton beer for you on the channel so I hope you guys enjoy this review and it's always cool to return to these guys and try it when they're doing new things so yeah um, as always then with my beer reviews I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other reviews I've done from Broughton I think this might be my 10th or 12th review something like that from these guys so do check out the other ones there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do subscribe to the channel the whole channel has a geography based tagging system of course so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country city or state whatever it is you're interested in do check out the whiskey and sake reviews and the playlists of beers from different countries as well and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see, see me review especially some Scottish breweries that I might not have heard of as well because there's always new ones popping up I, I always find new ones that I've never heard of when I go to some of the bigger shops over here but anyway just to tell you a little bit about Broughton then so Broughton Brewery was founded back in 1979 by David Younger and James Collins in a former abattoir in the small village of Bigger which is down in the Scottish Borders region and like I said to you Broughton Ales is regarded as the first Scottish microbrew and these guys market that marketed themselves to customers in the early days for basically marketing themselves to people looking for a quotes craft beer experience as an alternative to the mass-produced lagers and the export beers you know the likes of Tenants and uh, McEwen's and things like that that were available in Scotland at the time but Collins and Younger actually released their first beer the Green Mantle Ale to great success and the brewery became really well known throughout Scotland and the beer was actually so popular that locals and, and the people who were drinking this beer began to refer to them as the Green Mantle Brewery and this one is really considered as a sort of cult classic amongst the, the older generation of craft beer drinkers in Scotland the guys who are really into camera and things like that it's really considered one of the kind of pinnacle wee ales of Scotland but the Green Mantle um, as you might have guessed really kind of greatly increased the demand for small batch beer in Scotland and the brewery then afterwards decided to produce the old jock ale one of my favourite ones probably my favourite one actually from Broughton Ale the pinnacle of what a Scotch ale kind of should be they also produced the Merlin's Ale as well and the Scottish Oatmeal Stout and each of these beers were actually named after a well known character who was from the Scottish Borders region but in 1995 the brewery underwent a change in ownership and they were taken over by Gillis Litchfield who introduced the beers with character moniker for a series of 10 bottled ales and he really wanted to increase the exports of the brewery and he began doing so in 1996 and the brewery has kind of gone from strength to strength ever since then but last year in 2015 the brewery was bought by John Hunt, Steve McCarney and Dave McGowan who all had actually held positions, quite high up positions in fact in international drinks companies and these guys plan to expand the brewery production and also to build a visitor centre at the brewery so I would recommend this brewery to people who are more into the kind of traditional styles of Scottish beers. These guys produce the sort of kind of camera, sort of real ale styles of beers, and some of them are pretty good actually. The Black Douglas was one that I really enjoyed, and also the Old Jock Ale as well. But they have produced some kind of the more modern styles of beer. They do have a blonde ale these days, which I still need to try, and also the 6.2 IPA. That was one that I did really quite enjoy actually. But a very good brewery, one that I always enjoy revisiting when I get the chance. So, and they're always kind of producing new beers every so often as well. So, one that you definitely want to check out and like I say I hope you guys enjoy the review make sure you check out their website and see all the other beers that they do so anyway just to tell you a little bit about this beer then before we get on to the tasting so as I said to you this one is a 4.4% oatmeal stout or oatmeal and chocolate stout I should say didn't say on the website actually what the uh, the specs of this beer was but it does say on the side here so the malt base in this one is pale crystal black and roasted barley and chocolate malts the hops are Fugles, Phoenix and Wakatu and uh, the yeast and water is one of Broughton's house strains and it's also got locally sourced water as well and it says uh, specialities cold press espresso and pinhead oats so I guess 
that's some additions to the brew. But it says on the side here, what's your character? This year, our recommended bottle of dark liquid to quench your yuletide thirst is our homage to the most festive stout and a portly icon of the festive period, Santa Claus. Well-rounded, full-bodied and jolly are the words we choose to describe Santa and his stout, packed with 12 different ingredients, one for every day of Christmas. This brew really is a cracker. So yeah, it tells you a little bit about the flavour on here as well, but I'm not going to read that, of course, because I do want to figure it out for myself. But yeah, it says on the side here, I'll just let you have a quick look at the artwork. This is the kind of typical style of artwork that you're going to get from Broughton Ale. So you can see Santa there, and of course the Broughton horse there with the flag is what it's doing. I wish they would put that on the bottle caps actually. It would be cool to have a few different coloured bottle caps from Broughton Ale's, but nicely presented as always from these guys. So let's get it open and get on with the tasting then. Looking forward to this one. Nice smoky opening there. Quite a bit of smoke off that actually, but let's get a wee bit of this out and into the glass then. I tell you something, you can smell that oatmeal on this one. You really can smell that kind of nice brown bready and kind of grainy character coming out of this beer. It really does. These Broughton beers, I've always said that when you try so many different beers from a brewery, you can start to pick up the traits of the brewer a little bit. And one of the things you always, always notice with the Broughton beers is the kind of, the sort of bready kind of base that these beers have. So I'm interested to see if it carries through into the stout as well. But as you can see, this beer's poured a really nice kind of uh, black ebony rosewood colour. There's a wee bit of a ruby edge to it actually, but there's a solid finger of a frothy beigey tan head on this one, some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head there. But overall, it looks like a really quite nice beer, exactly as you'd expect from a stout. If I put my fingers behind it, you can't see anything, but that's simply because of the colour of it. I get the, the feeling that if it was a bit lighter, you would be able to see it right through this one. It looks like it would be crystal clear. But yeah, that's enough about the, the appearance. Let's have a look at the aroma then. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you can smell the sort of black and coffee malts in this one. You really can get a big sort of smooth coffee aroma from this. To me, it actually comes across as quite earthy as well. You know, I don't really drink coffee, actually. coffee The only coffee I ever consume is probably the stuff that's in these coffee stouts and things like this. But you can really smell that nice, smooth coffee. There's a good bit of earthy hop coming out of this beer as well. You know, you can smell a good little bit of the sort of brown bready base on this one. It has a little tiny bit of sweetness just under... <clears throat> just under that sort of uh, that dark roasted black malt character that the beer has but that really is dominating the aroma you know the oatmeal is in there as well it's got this big brown bready character and there's just a little bit of sweetness underneath that as I say but really like I say it's, it's the roasted character that's dominating this one there's a good bit of earthy hop in there as well maybe there's a wee bit of sweetness from the chocolate yeah there's a little bit of sweetness from the chocolate but not too much and there's a little bit of a kind of sweet red fruity ester coming out from this one as well but really like I say the aroma is definitely roasted it's definitely kind of coffee and definitely oatmeal in this one there's not too much in the way of sweetness it's kind of quite subtle so yeah just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of this beer before you get stuck in but we're going to try this now so this one is the Santa Stout from Broughton Ales down in Bigger here in Scotland down in the Scottish border region Slanja, Merry Christmas once again cheers That's pretty good. Just on first taste, you know, this stout definitely is for people who like kind of coffee flavours, I'm sure. If you enjoy your coffee, this is one that you're going to really quite enjoy. The thing that's surprising me about this though, it might just be the temperature of the beer. Maybe it needs to, to kind of uh, warm up just a little bit. But it's really actually quite light in the mouth feel. Yeah, definitely light in the mouth feel on this one. Highly recommend this beer if you get the chance to try it actually. It's really, it's quite a light and drinkable stout. Mm. As I always say with these dark beers, just let your whole mouth adjust to this one before you try and examine the flavour too much. But in this one I'd say, you know, you've got this bready malt base there. It's that oatmeal character, that almost brown bready oatmeal character. There's a little bit of sweetness to it but not too much, you can just feel that thing, 
that sort of stuff balancing the beer in the middle of the tongue you've got a nice roasted black malt character coming out there there is some chocolatey sweetness to it but i think this beer is more bready and more sort of roasted coffee and black malt more than anything there's not too much in the way of sweetness from that malt base actually it's more just smooth and then roasted bitter yeah i would definitely stick with that quite happy to stick with that prognosis for this beer yeah it's quite simple actually in the way the malt base comes together but it really does work quite well the toast there's almost a toasted graininess to this beer too but you also get that smoothness from the coffee in the middle of your palate and some of the there's just little bits of really roasty black bitter malt coming out of this one and it works very well for it actually in terms of the hoppiness in the beer it really is earthy you know in the back corners of the palate you've got a really big bitter earthy character there as you come further forward there's a little bitterness on the corner of the tongues there but then as you go around the front curve of the palate there's maybe just a little bit of a lighter grassiness in there but really it, it is just a smooth earthiness with a little bit of bitterness in the back corners of the palate there And if you just pay a little bit of attention to the curve, to the, to the little the little oily bubble that will come out behind the front curve of your tongue there, there's a little bit of a sort of red fruity ester in there. I think it's fair to say, you know, it's figs. I think it's a little bit of a figgy one, but it does have a little bit of sharpness that you'd maybe more associate with raisins or plums or something like that. It does have a little bit of sharp character to it in there as well. But mainly it's a kind of slightly a sort of wet and smooth juicy fig flavour that's coming out of this beer. But yeah, really nice one this actually. If you get the chance and if you're into your coffee stouts, you probably will enjoy this. In terms of the mouthfeel though of this beer, <coughs> really quite a th really quite a light stout actually it could well just be the temperature but i think it really is quite a light and drinkable one this i've never come across a stout actually that is quite as light as this that i can think of but a very wet mouthfeel on this one the carbonation is a little bit spritzy actually i think this beer you know if you put this on uh, on keg or cask sorry if you put this as a cask beer it really would work quite well just with a little bit less carbonation just to thicken out the mouthfeel a little bit and that would you know that would really even take this beer up a notch there's nothing wrong with the flavor but for me the mouthfeel just needs to be that little bit thicker on this one to kind of get the full it really just to get the kind of full scope of flavors that the ingredients on this one should give you it does the, the light mouthfeel on this one just it does take a little bit away from it i would say That could be well be that the, I've just got the beer a little bit too cold, but really, as I say, with a thicker mouthfeel, this beer would just go up a notch, but it's nice regardless. But yeah, like I say, light-bodied for a stout, it's got quite a spritzy carbonation to it, this one actually, quite a wet mouthfeel, this rather than anything, but some... There's, a, there's not really much in the way of sweetness from the malts like I was saying you've got a smoothness there you've got a bit of roasty bitterness from the kind of coffee things going on some bitterness from the hops as well otherwise they're quite smooth and there is just a little bit of juiciness from the fruits as well but overall it's another really quite nice beer from Brought Nails if you get the chance to try this I do recommend that you do if you see it on cask actually then as I say I think this beer would come out just a little bit better as a cask ale than it does in the bottle it just needs a little bit more of a kind of thicker mouthfeel for me and then it really would kind of hit the spot but in terms of taste you can't really fault this beer at all it's definitely one for people who enjoy coffee stouts and things like that and if you enjoy an oatmeal stout with a bit more of a kind of roasty bitterness to it I guess this is one that's going to kind of fall into your kind of flavour scope as well but overall really another quite nice beer from Brock Nails certainly I would hesitate, wouldn't hesitate to drink it again as I say I'd love to try it on cask but yes thank you for watching my beer reviews as always do let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the videos thank you for watching and until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff do check out my social media but most importantly support your local craft breweries and do check out some of the brawn ales beers these guys like i say very well regarded craft brewery in scotland my personal favorites the old jock and the black douglas are probably one of the ones that you want to start with so yeah make sure you check them out green mantle ale of course the very first craft beer from scotland but this one was the santa stout really quite a nice beer 
from Broughton Ales down in Bigger here in Scotland. Until the next time, it's Slangy just now, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Cheers.